Good morning, sisters, and I'm here to wish you a very happy new moon in Libra solar eclipse ring of fire event. So this is a special, very special new moon, and it is really the marking of a new chapter. And what we're doing today with this new moon is that we are closing the door of the past and moving forward, particularly in the house where Libra rules in your chart. So let's get into it because, as I said, there are some very important particulars that we need to look at. First, this is a new moon and solar eclipses only take place on new moons. Lunar eclipses only take place on full moons. And for them to be an eclipse, they have to be within a certain degree of the nodes. So that's what makes it an eclipse. And this eclipse is particularly close to the south node. And this is what makes it a south node that is in Libra. So this is what makes it a very big ending. Typically, solar eclipses are reset buttons. They usher in this newness. But for this solar eclipse new moon, it may feel more of an ending that prompts the new beginning. So it is 10 degrees of Libra and you are probably feeling the energy already. You've probably been feeling the energy for the last two days or so, but it does take place at 2.49 p.m. today. If you wanna make sure that at that time that you stop, make an intention of what you need to let go of and make an intention of where you want to, what you want to step into, what is going to be your new chapter, so to speak. Because it is in Libra, it will have to do on some level with how you relate, how you relate to others, relationships, justice, balance, all the Libra qualities and all the Libra traits will come to the forefront with this new moon solar eclipse. So I know that I've shared this before, but for any of the new sisters out there, you know, ancient uh, royalty or figureheads had an astrologer and the astrologer was a part of their advisory board, so to speak. And one of the things that they were particularly always mindful of were solar eclipses, because it talks about not only individually the shift that happens with an eclipse, but it also talks about collectively the shift that happens. So it was all about their relationship to power and the reason I mentioned this is because Libra is ruled by Venus and Venus is now in Scorpio. And so it's this kind of relationship to power that we are tapping into. And so they would have an astrologer around to tell them how to navigate this, the effects of the solar eclipse, how to step into or relate to their power or how to maintain it right, in a positive, productive way. So this is what I am asking you to do today because you are the queens of your life, the, the queens of your world. Um, and, um, you know, we've kind of shift as we move into our new life and new way of being um, collectively. We've shifted with owning our personal responsibility um, for our lives and 
the direction that our lives take. We don't leave that to someone else. We don't leave that to a king or, you know, or a God or something external. We take ownership of our power. And that's what I want you to do. So look in your chart. And I want you to look particularly in your Libra ruled house because this is an important moment. It's an ending because of the South Node and it's a beginning because of the solar eclipse. An ending of what exactly? Well, it's wrapping up for some of us what's been going on for the last year because this Libra Aries axis, um, Libra and, Ac and Aries are now um, ruling the nodes. These eclipses started last year. And particularly we had an eclipse in October of last year that is resonating with this eclipse today. So look back for a clue as to what was happening in your life last year and see what can you be wrapping up right now? What is it that needs to end? Again, around the Libra house, that will give you information about specifically what you need to look at. Um, and then also just Libra qualities, as I said before, relating to others, justice, fairness, fun, you know, communication in relationships. Finally, I want to talk about one other thing with this solar eclipse, because I want us to be clear that, you know, this is the beauty of eclipses. Uh, people don't usually look at eclipses as beauty because there is a level of high uncertainty that is often associated with eclipses. And the reason that there is such uncertainty is because there is a shadow aspect of ourself that we're unconscious of or we're unaware of. And when the sun steps out of view and there's darkness, we get to tap into this shadow side. We get to see it. We get to we get to be aware of it so that we can see it better. So you want to make sure that today and the next the days that follow that you look for any of these unconscious patterns around how you relate, how you communicate in relationships. What is your sense of justice, fairness, balance? Look and see what shadow aspects are coming up because this is also another opportunity to end anything that is unproductive in your life. So keep that in mind. So once that shadow period passes, the light returns and you can step into that light with a newer sense of clarity, a newer sense of consciousness. And that is how you use an eclipse. On a practical level, eclipses tend to create finality. So I always um, recommend that whenever anything shows up, don't react, right? Because you know, if you walk away from a job, if you walk away from a relationship, there's usually no coming back on an eclipse. So whatever shows up, just take a breath, look at the unconscious patterns that are playing out, and wait before you respond. The other practical thing to do around eclipses is to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. And when I mean hydrated, not just drink water, but make sure you're getting your, your electrolytes. Stay hydrated. Eat extra fruits. Take a little extra vitamin C. 
And most importantly, do not pack and crowd your day. Give yourself space to see and observe, right? You want to observe. You want to be in that mode so that you're not absorbing all of what is coming on. You're observing it. You're being a witness to your life. You're being a witness to how you show up in relationships. You're being a witness to how you communicate. You're being a witness to what is just and fair in your life. And finally, one last thing before I go. The eclipse is at 10 degrees Libra. So in your chart, you will know if this is going to be personally important for you to see if you have any planets in Libra that are close to 10 degrees, you know, within three degrees or so. So for example, 10 degrees Libra, see if you have anything from about six or seven degrees or um, 12 or 13 degrees of Libra. It's going to have more of an impact for you. Also look at 10 degrees in any of the cardinal signs. So if your house or if you have planets in 10 degrees of of Aries, 10 degrees of Cancer, 10 degrees of Capricorn, this eclipse will also be very personally relevant to you. So thank you. I wanted to share that with you and also to let you know that I'm consciously working my chart as well. And I want to share with you just how it's showing up for me. So for me, Libra is giving me an opportunity to kind of, st I'm stepping into a new chapter in my life, right? And so now I'm ending some of how I uh, particularly relate to people. So for example, Libra rules my fourth house. My fourth house has to do with my home. It has to do with my relationship with my father. Um, it, it also relates to my consciousness. So for me, there are things that I'm redoing in my home. I'm finally starting to decorate it. Um, I am creating a, a new dynamic or relationship with my dad. Um, and just thinking about how I show up in relationships. So I hope that makes sense. And I wish you all a very special um, new moon, ring of fire, solar eclipse at 10 degrees Libra today, October 2nd, starting at 2.49 p.m. Enjoy.